A health alert for parents tonight. Doctors are reporting an unprecedented rise in cases of the respiratory virus RSV among children. Experts say the common illness is leading to a surge in hospitalizations. Right now, 71% of pediatric beds nationwide are filled. It is the highest level in two years. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham is hearing from doctors about the cases they are now seeing right here in Michigan. We just want to make sure that she's protected as much as we can. Zhang Yang, who happens to be a nurse, says she and her husband try and protect their three-year-old Kylie as best as they can from catching cold viruses like RSV. I mean, this time of the year is flu season, so everything like from Thanksgiving to Christmas, like people, especially little kids, are at more high risk of getting um, RSV or contracting, you know, flu-related illnesses. I spoke to two other moms whose little ones came down with RSV. Chelsea Powers' baby boy, Walker, is currently in the NICU at a hospital up in Traverse City. She said it started as a cough on Monday and escalated Thursday when he stopped eating. Now he's fighting for his life. I wish I was more informed. I wish I knew what was coming. Like when he got sick, I, w I wish I knew how bad it was going to be. Brittany Maxig's daughter, Callie, battled the virus in early October. She's made a full recovery. And now knowing, you know, it's becoming even more prevalent, I'm just kind of worried my daughter will get it again. And it's like that happy balance. Do I bring her to daycare? Do I continue working as a mom? Should I just keep her home? You know, you just never know the right answer. I spoke with the doctor here at Children's Hospital who says in addition to fever, symptoms may include a runny nose, congestion, and difficulty breathing. We're in what I would consider a, a pretty severe peak of RSV right now. Definitely, uh, we're, we worry about uh, babies and young infants. Um, especially babies who um, were born premature or uh, any infants who have uh, either uh, chronic lung or heart problems. Uh, those are the, the children who are especially at risk. Dr. Kevin Daisy with Children's Hospital says the protective measures taken during the pandemic to ward off COVID infection helped lower RSV transmission as well. Really, the most important things are uh, to keep in mind are good hand hygiene, um, uh, obviously trying to keep your, our kids away from either other kids who are sick or other adults who are sick. Um, you know, that may include, you know, minimizing time in like very crowded places. We can't control everything, but we do our best. Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.